Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at a new fraud editor that goes by we the bosses, you the servants. So you can already tell that by the username, this guy is mentally deranged. He feels insecure and inferior in his regular life. So he wants to feel like a big bad boss. And that's why he terrorizes his servants. Now we'll take a look at his most recent video where he was allegedly assaulted for recording. This guy is a total snowflake and is going to become one of the worst frauditors in matters of months. He's already totally unhinged. Without further ado, enjoy the video. Oh, it's not for you. I can't record in here? No, no. Why not? And first of all, we have documents in here. You can't record in here. Says who? You can't record in here, sir. Well, are you just can't walk up and tell me I can't record in here. You have to. They have to. We be... have documents here that you, they cannot be put on film. I'm not recording and, any documents. And also, but you can't record here. Yes, sir. I can. Photography is not allowed in here. No, that's not true. Sir, can you please turn your camera? I'm not going to turn it off. Can you please tell your? No, I'm not going to turn it off. I'm able to record in here. All right. What's your name? What's your name? So this is how much our public employees hate transparency. They instantaneously become rude and ignore you and walk out on you. So right off the bat, there's a couple things that stick out. He's going to the document review area where people are going to show their sensitive documents. And he's specifically aiming his camera at the teller. That way he can record private information. Clearly, that's what he's up to. And then also at the entrance, there is a sign here that is restricting his Second Amendment. He doesn't seem to have an issue with that. So if they can restrict your Second Amendment, it wouldn't be too far fetched to imagine they would restrict your First Amendment, right? And that's the thing with these clowns. They're always cherry picking what they want about laws and the Constitution just to fit their narrative. <laughs> I'm not sure what they do here, but uh, we will find out today. They said I cannot record in here. I don't know what they're hiding. I'm sorry. You can't, you can't record. It says who? There's this. Yeah, you're wrong. What do, what, what do you guys do here? What do you guys do here? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> for one, for one, someone that wants to be on camera. I'm good. How are you? Oh, you're a producer. So you appreciate what I'm doing. Good. You're a patriot. <laughs> Yeah. 
Is this accessible? Is this office accessible to the public? I just wanted to meet everyone that works here. That's all. There, there's nothing that says I can't be in here. You can't. Well, the police are coming, so you. Okay. All right. I am not barging in. There's you nothing. Are. You are. Well, there's there's nothing. Just, your name is on this. No, this group, is a public. You just walk in. This is a public office. You can't, you can't <laughs> yes, I can. It's my office. Okay. I can go in there. Okay. I I pay for it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, really? It's your office, and apparently you pay for it? So why were you asking if it was open to the public? Since it's your office, wouldn't you have the key already, since you own it? Their logic is so easy to unravel. It just falls apart if you punch the smallest hole in it. It is completely ridiculous that lens lickers actually believe this crap. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, I can. Yeah, what's your name? My name is Angela. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, yeah. too. Yeah, okay. you can just ask me what I'm doing and just not tell, walk up to me and tell me I can't record. You can ask me what I'm doing and I'll explain to you. Okay, well, tell me what you're I'm just gathering content for a story, that's all. Content for what story? Oh, story I'm working on. But yeah. I'm asking, especially we have people that are doing business and giving out pertinent private information. Okay. And that's why we ask people not before. Yeah, I'm not. Out information. Yeah, I'm not here for their information. I understand, but yeah. the microphone yeah. can pick up the information that people are discussing with that cashier. I understand that. So can I come this way? Because um, I have transactions going on. Right yeah, here. but I'm not here for them, ma'am. I understand. And you know what? Even if I capture. I understand, but that I don't want people to be exposed in your content. Right. But the thing is, what matters is what I do with that information. Just simply capturing the information is it's not a crime. So in his mind, he sees nothing wrong with capturing private information like credit card numbers social security numbers he sees nothing wrong with that as long as he doesn't do anything with it in his mind he's in the clear and that truly shows the type of personality this is he doesn't give a shit about anybody because clearly his audience would be able to do something with that information but he doesn't care so that's why you're not allowed to record there it's for pieces of shit like this guy who are only looking out for themselves all right, so I'm just here to get a content for a story. I no, I, I'm, I'm not finished over here. I'm not finished over here. I cannot allow I'm, to be I'm taking a tour. I'm taking a tour of the entire allow, building. If you want a tour, then you should contact us and we can schedule a tour. Oh, no, that's but not how it works. You can't come in here freely and start recording. Yes, I can. Transactions that are happening. This is people's private property, okay. private information, okay. and you cannot record them. Yes, I can, ma'am. Sir, can yeah. you come this way? Thank you. Sure. Yes. Sir. Seriously, you have to stop recording. No, ma'am, ma'am, we have to I understand. We have to record here. I told you multiple times. In the office? Yeah, you can't record here. What do you mean? I can't record in here? You can't video take. You says who? It. What's, what's the law that says I can't? It's posted. Mm -hmm. It's posted where? Come on, come on. Okay. And even if it's posted, it's, it's okay, that, that so doesn't mean it's legal. So we're going to ask you to leave once. Okay. We're going to ask you to leave twice. Okay. We're going to ask you to leave one last time. What's your name? Jim Curry. Yeah, okay. let's take him out. What's your Put position? Put your cuffs on. Let's put your cuffs on. This is a public place. No, you're trespassing and you're disrupting an operation. Yes, please, yes, please. you gotta go. Are you touching me? Yes. yes. What's your name? Because I actually. What's your name? Chess yes, Chris. Do you guys know this is a crime you're committing? You're violating my rights. Yes. You guys just violated have my nice rights. Day. Have a nice day. You guys just violated my rights. Sir? You guys just violated my rights. USC section 12. U.S. Title 12, U.S.C. Section uh, 242, Deprivation of Rights Under the Color of Law. You guys just deprived me of my civil rights to record in a public building. You just made a big mistake. Okay. You just deprived me of my okay. constitutional right to record in a public building. Have a good day. Have a good day. You just deprived me of my right to record in a public building. You guys just violated my rights. Well, that was one of the biggest word salad I have ever seen. That was a completely pointless speech. We know very well he's not going to sue. 
We know very well that he's full of shit. And on top of that, he can't even remember the USC codes properly. If you're going to try to sound smart and memorize a statute or a law, at least remember it properly. Because right now, you're just making yourself look like a total idiot. Have you ever heard of the, the USC Title 18, Section 242? Or USC 42? Uh, section um, uh, uh, 1983. Violation of my Six. rights. Other way. What's your name again? Sir. I told you my name before, sir. What's your name? <laughs> what's, what is your name? I'm asking you a question. You're the rest of me. The rest of me. You guys have no idea what you've just done. You guys have no idea what you just done. Can I speak with one of you? Can I speak with one of you? Can I get your name and your badge numbers? Ma'am, can I have your name and your badge number? Can I have your name and your badge number? No, I don't have to speak with her, ma'am. What's your name and your badge number? Ma'am, he just violated my constitutional right. What are you going to do about it? Excuse me? He just violated my rights. What are you going to do about it? I am able to go in here and record. And he just pushed me out of a public building. This is not our office. We're the sheriff. We're asking them questions. What's going on. Okay, but you're, you're a law enforcement officer. You're able to enforce the law. The I didn't see anybody touch you. Oh, I have it on so camera. I can show I'm it to you. I'm saying that I didn't see anybody touch you. Okay. I just walked up. Okay. And I'm talking to that gentleman about okay. documents. All right. So you're recording why? What because I can because I okay. can't, right? Okay. Because because I have the right to. Okay. That's why. And I'm not telling you to leave. But they you just they just right they report. just pushed me out of a public space that I'm allowed to be in. I'm not over this department. Ma'am, you are a law enforcement officer. You're supposed to enforce the I law. I did not see anybody. I told you I got it on camera, ma'am. You can't take your camera and view any footage. If you want to file a report, not a report. You file a report. I'm I'm going to file a complaint on them. Okay, and then I want you, you I want you to enforce the law that allows me to be in there and report. Once you file your complaint, it'll go through their proper channel. Okay. Because we didn't witness anything happen. I saw you record. Yes, I was. And I, that's what I'm telling you now. Yeah. I don't know what you what was going on. So I'm, I'm talking to him about documents. Okay. And now you're asking for our badge numbers. Yes. Because I want to because I want to know everyone that's present here. That's why. You don't have to. Ma'am, you don't have to interact with a member of the public to give me your I'll name and your badge you, number. You have every right to record. Yes, I do. And if you have everybody on camera, you have everybody. No, but I need I need your names and your badge numbers because I need to know who was here when this incident happened. That, that's not true. Okay, but okay, I, I need to. Okay, let, here, let me let, let me rephrase name. that. Let me rephrase that. I okay. need to know everyone that responded to this incident. Yes. Ma'am, I'm not here for you, all right? No, but you took out. A, a video of me there. So are you guys going, are you going? It says very carefully that no cameras around this. This is the city hall. Okay. It's a public okay. building, ma'am. No, it's not a public right. building. Only people who are you? Speak. Who am I? Yes. Uh, my name is Richie. You were just... You're recording me right now. I don't want to be recorded. <laughs> If you don't want to be recorded, ma'am, you can walk away from the camera, okay? That's how it works. So he's calling her a bootlicker, but what happened is that previously she had a small lapse of judgment. She thought that he was doing something else, but then she realized that he was a piece of shit that was trying to record her private information, which is the truth. And then she came to her senses and called her out for the scumbag that he is. So there's nothing wrong with that. No need to try to intimidate her, to tell her to just walk away from the camera. You're not supposed to be there in the first place. The only cameras that are supposed to be there are security cameras where you cannot get any private information on that. And if you were to FOIA it, if there was an incident, everything that is private would be redacted, unlike your cell phone. So there's a big difference there. <laughs> Oh gosh, my excuse me. Yeah. I'm talking oh, oh, to I, someone. I can I can go in there, ma'am. I can. No, you can't. I can. This is an exit. Okay, this is an entrance. I'm gonna no, go in there. Entrance either. Listen, I'm going to allow you guys to violate my rights today, and you're going to be hearing from my lawyer. Believe me, you're not gonna like it. You're not going to like it. You just violated my rights, my constitutional rights. I have a right to be in in here and record. Yeah, record documents. 
Not oh. Videotape oh. The office, you are in so much you trouble. You are in so much trouble. Yeah. You have no idea what right. you've done. Okay. I have a right to be in here. There is no. There is. Where, where, where are you at? What do you mean? Where are you at? This, this is a public building. That you have that right. This is a public. Where are you It's at? my constitutional right to record in what public. The First Amendment. You ever heard of it? Have you ever heard of the, the First Amendment? Office? The rules do okay. not trump so the United States Constitution. All right. If he comes back in, cuff him. We'll bag him. Okay. Sounds great. So let me let me get it clear. Let me get it clear. You just you just said that if I come in here, you're going to arrest yeah. me. That's what you said. Yeah. That's all my lawyer needs. Yes. That's all he needs. Okay. Give it to your lawyer. That's all he needs. And do I have your name? Because you called the police, didn't you? Do I have your name? Let's go. Okay. I don't want to be arrested Let's today, go. so I'm not going to go in there. Let's go. I don't want to be arrested, so I'm not going to walk in there. Let's go. Let's all go. right. Let's go. Let's go. But I will hold you accountable. Okay. I will hold you accountable. <laughs> well, see, I'm not going to help you violate my rights. I'm going to allow you to do it all by yourself. I'm not, I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of you. You can take me and then you will pay the price. You will pay the price. Ladies and gentlemen, what we have over here, it's an internet tough guy. He's talking all tough like he's going to have them pay the price. We know very well that nothing is going to happen. If I had a nickel for every single time a frauder threatened a lawsuit, then I would be in Hawaii right now on the beach having a good time and I wouldn't need to work another day in my life. These lawsuits very, very rarely happen. And when they do happen, most of the time they get thrown out and then the frauder has to pay a huge fine, just like Rogue Nation and just like Delete Laws. You can videotape from out here. That's all. Don't worry about it. All you want. You don't worry about it. So do, do any of you want to give me your names and your badge numbers? Do any of you want to give me your names and your badge numbers? You're going to refuse to identify yourself? Isn't that in your policy? No? Okay. I have a question. Where do I get complaint forms? Complaint forms. Complaints forms. Yes. Okay. Thank you. I need to ask you guys a question. These guys think it's okay to grab a member of the public and physically assault him and push him out of a public space that he has every right to be in. So here's the thing. If they were to grab a member of the public and remove him or her when they were actually conducting business, I would have an issue with that but you are not a regular member of the public at all whatsoever. You are a YouTube prankster that went in there to record a prank. The fact that they removed you means they took their job very seriously and they protected the public. So honestly, they deserve a raise. Now, thanks so much for watching, everybody. 
that's it for the video he went to the city commissioner's office after that but it's mostly dead air and they just told him to kick rock they weren't going to help him with anything this guy's a total loser really not surprised it's like they see other channels like lia and rogue nation and they think oh you know what i could be a grifter too i am a piece of shit i am able to harass people but most of the times they just end up getting arrested without ever making any significant amount of money just like rage girl radio and it totally ruins their life well anyways that's what they deserve thanks so much for watching everybody i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys on the next one I live here!